Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Video Cast. I am joined once again with my associates, Ryan and Kayla. Yo, what's up? Hi again. Huh? Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we talked about the title menu, the fixes to the arrows on the cards, the bot, the new bots we have in our server, and the visual novel section and overworld of Terrazone Shoot for the Stars, which at this point I believe you all know that we're working on a game. At least I would hope so. I, I would hope so. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I think we need to go over that part again. Our programmer didn't know. We're in trouble. That would be a huge problem. He was actually programming a uh, completely different game the whole time. Whoops. Right? <laughs> We're making a puzzle game. Yeah. Uh, right. So, as far as news goes, we officially have three tracks in the game. Three musical tracks, that is. And all three are sounding pretty solid. We're pretty happy with what uh, Svika, right? Correct. has yep. been has been uh, doing there to no surprise been very happy with what he's been making it's all been sounding very uniform and everything and uh surprise for your eyes surprise for your eyes <laughs> yeah so speaking of surprises for your eyes sees eyes is is that a word? No. Anyway, <laughs> um, we've been doing a lot of cleaning up. Um, as Rob mentioned, some of the things that we cleaned up last time were bots in Discord. We've also been doing that on YouTube. If some of you haven't already noticed by now, the banner is finally updated with more relevant things, such as hide from hide and Zeke, as well as Zeke is also on it. And uh, we have the two different skies from Shoot for the Stars, as well as us. You know, the stars of the show. Shoot for the stars. See? See what I did there? Um, so yeah, they're on the banner, and also the thumbnails are getting a nice little readjusting there. They're starting to look more uh, thumbnail-y, more YouTuber-esque. My personal favorite one is uh, Metatopia 1. <laughs> Rob just needed to be Rob for that one. Am I right? You yeah. <laughs> You all get to see more of my face plastered around the YouTube. That's right. <laughs> it's Shonen Warrior face. He has the secret katana for keeping people in good measure. I also have the secret katana for building cards in the game. So Kayla here has been painstakingly assembling our cards by hand uh, <laughs> up to this point while we were doing testing. But now the game finally does that part for her. Um, That's right. Using some clever tricks, I've put them together on surfaces. So they're basically just a big texture with all of our card data on it. I can just slap it on where whatever. Have Truly an amazing science. It. Yep. So that part's done. Very important part for being able to play the card game is being able to see the cards. So That's right. It's pretty exciting to get through that part. Um, cards in our card game RPG? What? Oh, gee. Um, so yeah, soon we'll hopefully be able to show off some gameplay. I, oh, yeah. I'm i always excited about these things. I probably say that every time, but I'm often a rather excited person, aren't I? <laughs> Need to have at least one in a group in order to... Uh keep the morale up <laughs> um yeah as well as also those dynamic card creation things that also means a great opportunity to polish up the card layouts themselves so we've taken some good measure to uh reduce certain things that don't necessarily need to be there on the cards like the uh, text boxes used to have like a white outline on them so they sort of kind of had like this double outline thing so we actually made the decision to get rid of that, so... Just like little She's things that we've been... Literally been measuring a lot. Oh yes, I've been literally measuring with, yeah, digital rulers and everything, making sure it's exactly to the pixel, everything is perfect. That way Ryan can properly put them together for Shoot for the Stars, and, uh... Yeah, that way they're finally what they're supposed to be. It's probably been driving me a little bit mad, but it's worth it. Madness? 
darkness. Madness. Madness and darkness. Darkness is awesome. <laughs> There's something else you've been working on, Kayla, am I correct? Oh yes. Well, um, the dark basement of the school, right? Exactly that specific thing, the dark basement. Well, a little more general than that. <laughs> um, yes, actually, that's another thing that we were discussing about, and it's actually going to be in this week's devlog as well, is talking about more details about the Nostal Falls High School. So Rob put together the official mascot for the school, which is really cool. I highly, highly approve of. I'm not going to ruin any surprises. Or maybe I can. What do you think? Should I ruin the surprise? I don't think it's a it's a huge huge reveal. You could even just show it off, honestly. It's a Leviathan, and Rob did a really great job putting it together. So, yeah, school spirit, yo. Uh, we're we got our club is the Leviathans, so they're cool. I especially approve because dragon. But aside from that, um, we also thought that it should be a Leviathan because water, because uh, there's actually a pretty significant meaning to the waterfall of Nastal Falls, which is where it gets its name from. There's going to be a lot more discussion about that in the story and also the comic that's going to be coming in the XYZ time, as Rob always puts point. it. At some point. At some point, yes. And uh, yeah, we took the time to decide what kind of classrooms are going to be in the school as well as like where they should be located so we've been mapping those things out deciding like little things like okay where are the freshman rooms or the sophomore rooms um, what kind of extracurricular activities are going to be and what makes our school very unique in the game is uh, kind of taking some Japanese inspiration as there's actually a section dedicated to all the club rooms in the game so it's kind of like a east meets west layout for a school and uh, when you look at it from up above it kind of all comes together it has a bridge that uh, has already been kind of sort of revealed with one of the visual novel scenes so we feel like that's going to be like a good storytelling element is the bridge itself so yeah we've been making sure that it feels very school-like and that all the important necessity rooms and everything should be inside of the school itself. Gotta have cool school. Oh yes. And leading into that we see a much more detailed version of the uh, club room in a very very beautiful state. Right Rob? <laughs> You've only drawn it like what four times now? I've, I've only drawn it four times and yeah. But it <laughs> is done. And it's going to be a part of our landing page. Yeah, I've been putting that together. Uh, between me reading JavaScript memes and actually writing JavaScript, I put together a pretty interesting uh, landing page uh, for uh, based on the artwork that Rob's been putting together. We've sliced up a few parts of the room and uh, you're able to sort of uh, change the, the viewpoint you're looking at the room from a little bit. Uh, while it also trans uh, translates itself through a bunch of different scenes. Move the mouse a little bit and stuff moves. Yep. Um, Always performing magic. <laughs> I mean, working with JavaScript is always performing magic. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good, I think. Very, very cool, cool. stuff. We should hopefully be releasing that for you guys in the very near future. Oui, oui. And last but not least, we started concepting the actual battlefield for the card gameplay within the game. You know, only the most important part of the game, right? <laughs> only, you know, where you're actually doing the combat of the game. That's right. So, yeah. That was like some pretty. Team effort. Totally important. And it, yeah, it's been a group effort. I started off with um, little quick roughs of what the battlefield might look like, and then uh, Ryan took it a step further and made it look more like it's part of the game visually, based on how we've been designing the menus and stuff like that. And um, 
Kayla's also added a little bit of things here and there to spice it up, so it's going on its way. Yep, it's looking Starting pretty to look close. uniform with everything in the game, so we're we're getting there. Everything's looking like it's part of a theme. That's important for sure. We're very excited to test out the game part of the game. <laughs> And a lot of doing oh, yes. other parts of it before and but yeah we'll we're just about there yes getting past all the setup before we know we'll be at the actual beat of providing the of giving the actual content in there putting the actual content in there i can't talk sometimes anyway that's all we have for you in this episode of video cast of course, there will be many, many more in the future. We will continue to update everybody as to what we've been doing. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter in order to get more updates. More updates on the Twitter, by the way. More frequent ones, I guess you could say. And don't forget to check out our website, www.mysticmaskmedia.com, where we post our devlogs every week. And so you can check out that amazing landing page. Oh, so worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Anyway, all that wraps up this episode of Videocast. Stay tuned for more TerraZone content. See you later. See you later, Gator, right? <laughs>